Hi, I'm Tom Baldock and I'm one of the Seacrest researchers who've developed the Coastal Protection Software Tool. The tool helps people manage reefs to protect shorelines from coastal erosion and to prevent damage to coastal infrastructure and communities. Coastal protection comprises two models, shoreline and rooftop. This video introduces shoreline, which helps to predict how a shoreline may change as the fringing reef degrades or as sea level rises. To start using Shoreline, download the free Netica software. Then, download the nine Shoreline Netica files from the Seacrest website and save them to your computer. Each of these files is for a different output, such as wave height, force or velocity, or shoreline width. Details of these files are in the Coastal Protection Models User Guide, which is also available on the Seacrest website. These files are pre-built networks and can be imported directly into Netica for immediate use. For this demonstration, we're going to use the file xs 5 10 168 k which reports on shoreline width at the center line of the reef. Open Netica and import this file by clicking on File, Open, and finding the file. You will see there are a number of parameters in the model, including bay width, width of the reef, and length of the reef. The data for these parameters can be calculated in Google Earth. We are going to use El Nido in the Philippines as our example, but you can use any location. Find your reef, then click on the ruler icon to measure distance and area. Click on the boundaries to calculate bay width. Do the same to calculate reef length and reef width. Record all these figures. Return to Netica and select the closest figure to the ones you recorded in each parameter box. So we recorded a bay width of 4,643 meters, so we select 5,000. Reef width of 483 meters, so we will select 500, and reef length of 1,131 meters, so we will select 1,000. Reefs longer than 1,000 meters can be recorded as 1,000 meters. The data for depth of reef, wave height, wave period, and wave direction will need to be sourced from local knowledge or buoys. For this example, we are going to enter 0.75 meters for reef depth, 1.25 meters for wave height, wave timing of every 7 seconds, and the direction as 0 degrees. The predicted shoreline width at the center line of the reef will now calculate. In this example, it is 280 to 110 meters. The parameters can be adjusted to see their effect on the output. If the reef length is 400 meters, the shoreline width reduces to 110 to 84 meters. In other words, in this example, if the reef's width was reduced, such as through storm damage, the shoreline would also likely erode and reduce. Other parameters can also be adjusted. Depth has the biggest impact, so sea level changes will have a large effect. Save your file and create new ones to record how changes in the different parameters affect the chosen output. Thanks for watching our introduction to the Coastal Protection Model Shoreline. You can find more information and links in the video notes, and you can download the Coastal Protection User Guide on the Seacrest website. I hope you find the Coastal Protection Model Shoreline a useful tool.